Welcome to the first video. Uh, we are going to discuss standard types. So what is a standard type? Um, so basically a standard type has properties, uh, initializers and methods, all of their own, and they can be extended on. Um, so basically the standard types or primitive types, uh, number, boolean, text, and collections um, are wrapped up into standard types. Uh, we are going to actually jump into Playground and experiment with standard types. So go ahead and open up Xcode. If you don't have Xcode, go to the App Store, download it, put this video on pause, and then come back once you have it open. So this is um, the open screen. I am using version 7.1. So if you're using a version earlier than mine, it should work, hopefully. <laughs> um, go ahead and open it up. and. Uh, Let's go ahead and get started with opening My Playground. So name, you can leave the name My Playground if you want to, but I am actually going to write out the name of this video with the standardizers, which is what we're going to cover. And to be honest, I recommend you uh, typing out every playground that we do or whatever we do um, or we cover with a different name. So say in the future, you need to go back and figure out, oh, what's standard types again? You can revert back or you know reference um, our playground that we discussed standard types in, which is really great. So the platform I'm going to use is uh, OS 10. Um, I believe the default is iOS, which is fine. Um, it, it's going to pretty much respond the same way. But like I mentioned in my prior video, uh, I, my main focus is going to be on Cocoa programming. So let's go ahead and create it. And select whatever folder you want. And here we go. So uh, what we see here is Playground. On the left side, we have the editor. This is where we're going to put all of our code. Um, and then on the left side, we have the results, uh, the sidebar basically holds all the results um, that is compiled from your code. So here, Playground was nice enough, nice enough to <laughs> uh, create a variable for us. As you see, uh, this particular variable, str, has been assigned the value of hello playground. And if you notice, it had already compiled a little bit earlier so that we can see what it looks like. So um, these two buttons, a uh, quick look, allows us to see what this variable holds, which it holds hello playground with no quotes. Uh, another thing that we can do is we can do quick look, which will actually put the result into the editor, which is pretty flippin' nifty. Um, you can leave it there if you want to. It's, it's pretty okay. I'm actually going to remove it. It's a little distracting to me, um, but to each his own. <laughs> so um, we have two keywords we're going to cover today, which is var and let. So var denotes a variable. So let's create a variable. Let's do greeting. So good and talk. So, um, I gave the variable the name greeting, it is a var, and another thing about var is that you can change it. So say if I wanted to make greeting um, hello, I can do that, no problem. So if I use this variable right now, it will have the value of hello, because it's overwritten the original value I gave it, uh, good talk, right? Um, so let uh, denotes a constant. So I'm going to create a constant. So there's my name. So I've given the name, oh, sorry, I gave him the value Shawnee, which is my name, <laughs> to the variable name or the constant name. Now with constants, the value does not change. So once you set it, it's permanent. Okay, so if I try to say set name to Bob, right? wonderful error message is going to appear. 
um, we click on this error message and it says cannot assign to value. Name is a let constant. So this all error message trying to do is tell you the bare minimum of what's going on. And basically what it's saying is you have Try to assign a value to a constant that's already been assigned a value, so therefore you cannot assign another value to it. It's basically immutable. Um, so what it's asking you is you can fix it by changing the variable name to var to a variable instead of a constant. And what var does, it means that it's mutable. And mutable means you can change it. So you can you know, say, okay, yeah, I made that mistake. Let's change it to var. So now you can change it. But I am actually, I didn't want to change it. So I'm going to change it back. <clears throat> so another thing I wanted to show you is when you um, are coding in Playground, if there is an error, um, you will not be able to compile any code that appears after that error. So here I have dog. I'm trying to assign dog the value of chihuahua. And if you notice, over here, there's no result. There's no result at all over here. So again, if you realize, hey, I'm typing and something, why isn't it appearing? Why isn't it compiling? Realize you might have made an error. So I am actually going to comment this error out. And you will see chihuahua has been compiled. Value or the variable dog has been assigned the value of Chihuahua. Awesome. So um, another thing I wanted to cover is commenting. So with commenting, you can use two backslashes, and this will comment just that line. So if you notice with name here, I commented out just that section. Now, if you say wanted to comment out a a couple of lines you can do so. So um, here we have one line, two line, three line. As long as your lines are in between these characters here, it'll be commented out. So that's two ways you can comment out code. Um, so there we go. We have gone over standard types, um, the keywords var and let. And we also have dabbled with commenting. So if you're ready for more, the next video is inferring and specifying types. See you then.